seems like we're all getting a little more interested in wine and wine making and certainly wine tasting. And we're going to talk a little bit about all of that today with Jennifer Huther from Jackson Family Wines. Welcome to On TV. Thank you. We've all, we, we're being exposed to so much more now about what goes into the making of wine that, yeah. that we all pretend to be sommeliers. You are for real a master sommelier, which is a tough road to hoe, right? Yeah, it took a few years, yeah, but I made it. I watched that documentary, <laughs> Psalm, yes. and it describes your grueling journey to, to get where you are today. And so now you're working with Jackson Family Wines. Tell me about That's the winery. Right. So Jackson Family Wines has been in business for just over 30 years. Um, they're based in Sonoma, California, and they're a family-owned winery. Um, Kendall Jackson started it all off. That's what we're going to taste today. But now they own upwards of 40 wineries around the world. Yeah. And where are the actual vineyards? Well, when we, ta when we taste these two wines, they're um, from California, and so they're all coastal. So they're up and down the coast, and that makes them cooler climate than, let's say, being in the interior of California. So you benefit from the oceans, and you benefit from altitude, and that just helps keep the wines in balance. Where the grapes are grown, what the, what the growing uh, conditions were like at the time, all of that influences the flavor, right? Absolutely, yes. Climate, terroir, that all translates into what you taste in your glass. Wow. And the yeah. other thing I've heard about Jackson Family Wines is they're very concerned with their footprint, uh, environmentally speaking. That's right. Um, all the vineyards are uh, third party certified sustainable. Um, they're very, very green. They have so many initiatives. They've been recognized and awarded time and time again in within the industry and even outside of the industry. So yes, they're very proud to be green and you can feel good about purchasing the wines and drinking them. And of course, they're delicious. Well, speaking of colors, do we start with a white or a red? Absolutely. We so start with the white? I think we'll start Kay. with white and this is a Chardonnay. 2015 vintage. This is the Kendall Jackson Vintners Reserve Chardonnay, and this is really what started the company off. So I'm twirling my glass <laughs> like I know what I'm doing, but I know there's a reason for this. What is it? You're basically opening up the wine, so you're volatizing all the um, aromas in the glass, and that helps them open up, and mm -hmm. then you can smell it and, and smell all that Ooh, wonderful fruit. Yeah, that just bursts. You know, like when you open, a, like when you peel an orange, how the flavor just pops out. Yeah. I get that sensation, not really citrusy, but I get that. Wow, it's right there, flavor. Okay. <laughs> what does that do? It gets more air in with exactly. You're bringing air in on your palate, and you're opening up the wine on your palate, so you can taste more, and you're coating your entire palate with the wine. That's yummy. You like it? So yeah. as a sommelier, y without seeing the label, you'd have yeah. to ident you could de identify where these grapes were grown? The ideally, yes. Amazing. And ideally. what grape it is, which of course is Chardonnay. So um, what's so great about this Chardonnay and why it's been the number one selling Chardonnay in the U.S. for 25 years straight is that there is some oak and there is that little van vanilla caramelness, but it's really also about the fruit here. So you taste that maybe pineapple core or sure. apple. Um, and it's just really got this, you know, creamy texture on the palate. Yummy. I would drink this with something or on its own? Either or. Um, so there's enough weight and texture here, um, certainly to work with lots of food. So you can imagine seafood would be great. Roasted chicken um, is barbecue season now. So um, I'm thinking barbecued turkey burgers mm -hmm. or grilled salmon um, yeah. would be fantastic with this. Love it. Okay. Yeah. Should we move on to the red? Absolutely. So we're going to move on to a Cabernet Sauvignon. And there is a is that, does that mean two different grapes? Well, that's one. Um, Cabernet Sauvignon is um, a big, powerful uh, red grape that tends to have quite a bit of tannins. There is a little bit of Merlot in this just to kind of soften it and round it out. Um, but this is honestly just such a delicious uh, Cabernet from California. <laughs> Mm. What am I smelling? Mm. Well, there's um, lots of cassis and black currants and blackberries, um, a little bit of plum. For me, a bit of mocha and dark bitter chocolate. That's so smooth. Yeah. yeah. That is so smooth. And what would we serve this with? 
Well, again, I mean, it's barbecue patio season that we're coming upon. So I would say ribs would be amazing, like some baby back ribs on the barbecue. Um, you could get your, you know, your steak out and do it medium rare with this. Um, that would work. Uh, pretty much any kind of red meat is going to work with this because there's a little bit of tannin and grip there. Mm. And there's that r fresh so it holds acid. up to the it's gonna strong hold up. fibers. And, it, and it's food friendly as well. Where can we find these amazing wines? Yeah, so right now, actually, uh, in Ontario at the LCBO, this, uh, the Cabernet was just released in Vintages, so we're pretty excited about that. And then the Chardonnay is a Vintages Essential with the LCBO, so you should be able to find that um, at almost all stores across Ontario. Jackson Family Wines. Jennifer, thank you so much thank for being you. here today. My pleasure.